בשנה ראשונה אתה נצליח. So here we're continuing about the woman's uh, role on uh, elevating her husband uh, spiritually because we said that's uh, we, the whole concept we are talking about is as a clinic do. What's as a clinic do? As a clinic do means helping her husband. Find, a man has to find uh, a, a wife that she would be able to help him to get elevated. And we, went, and we said that's why a person should not uh, uh, just think of having, uh, she could, he could, a person could, could go marry any woman, right? But has to be very selective. Has to be very selective, why? Because he wants to get elevated spiritually, and the woman has to, also has to be selective, right? Because she wants to find a husband that she could uh, basically uh, live with and grow spiritually together and go up you together. Don't, you don't fully know everything until after you get married. Right, that's why you pray to have a I mean, hopefully it's it's good things, you know, but... Right. Right, you, usually when you pray to Hashem, Hashem Shomer Petayim. Yes. It says Hashem Shomer Petayim. Hashem watches the people that even... The own judgments. Yes, that's correct. So the, the main thing is pray to Hashem Shomer and also to try to elevate yourself spiritually to find a woman that help you out. So now, and with your own wives right now we have, we have to basically um, try to both of, husband and wife both have to basically try to go in the same direction, spiritually, and it's gonna happen. It, it's just gonna happen. And it says, uh, um, so, so it says from, from a woman's point of view, what she should do in order to make this happen, to make sure that her husband gets that 100% uh, elevation or the maximum elevation that she could, he could have. Because again, we said if, if she gets elevated, right? If she, if she get, if he gets elevated, she gets elevated by her, with her, with her together. The good is a, a constant ascending together. It's not just him, it's her too. Both go, go, go up spiritually. One yeah. So it starts with whom? With the husband first? Yeah, husband. Yeah, <coughs> yeah husband. Yeah, we're gonna say the. Uh, I read, I I use another book. It's called First Marriage, uh, First Year in the Marriage, mm -hmm. and that ma in that book is very interesting. It says, "Do you want your wife loves you? Respect him. Respect her. <laughs> when you respect your wife, right? I mean, don't go against uh, Torah's board." Try to say a person has to be take off the all the commandment, but has to respect his wife. When you respect your wife, your wife, your wife definitely is going to love you. The respect is going to bring love. Like M mutual respect, but I think it starts yeah. from a man. It's not a man. No, like uh, if a man does something, whatever, like marriage or something, that that the wife gets some of that marriage. But what about if like the wife? Light shoulders candles or snow or daven something. Does that, does that, that part of it? Does that bring the man merit or is that just a reflection of what he's doing? But that's her misword that she's supposed to do. The, the misword that she's like chava because of the chava women have, are obligated to do three misword. But, it, but it's only what the man does that gives her merit. It's, it's, it's like what you do. What. The well, they 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 getting elevated. The visa for a woman, you see, the tikkun for a man and tikkun for a woman. For a woman, for the tikkun of chava, what the chava did, a woman is supposed to for the tikkun. He has to do halakot nerot, right? He has to do chala and halakot nido. These three, three three laws she has to fulfill them and abide with them, and that's the tikkun for her, right? But and that's how she's going to get elevated. That's a tikkun for her, she does it, and the tefillah also. Does, does that bring a schut for the schut for the man? Yes, because he's married to her. When he gets married, if you if the woman is not married, how could she do a halakha of the nida? Yeah. She's a nida. Mm -hmm. So so he bring the opportunity for her to do this mitzvah. Mm -hmm. So so it's, it, this is this is this is a big mitzvah for a woman. You know, it's very detailed. Mitzvah of halakha nida. It has a lot of a lot of halachot. Sometimes it's complicated, so she has to know them all. She has to fulfill them. She has to make sure she's fulfilling them. So that's 
the only way she could do it, is if she gets married, she doesn't get married, she, was, she doesn't need any of this halakhot, right? So it says, uh, uh, so it so has to say, one, one thing it says that a woman should avoid doing it is making her husband, uh, here it says, it says some women, they say, I wanna, I wanna give my husband a lesson, okay? I mean, make, being tough to her husband, right? And usually they, they don't, it's just, this is the wrong approach to trying to give their husband a lesson because when a man goes out of home feeling uh, bitter what her, uh, his wife doing, then uh, she, he's supposed to feel, but the husband has to feel when he's at home that uh, he has the best woman in his life. And then it feels that way, when he goes out, he, he doesn't feel she, like, he likes anything from her. And that's why, by feeling that way, he would never look at other women. He would never feel uh, that she's missing anything in his life. And by doing so, he can grow very high spiritually because he always says, oh, my wife is the best woman I ever got married to. I always think about his wife, even the most prettiest, the, the prince of beauties. <laughs> they come, the princess has come out of the person, he says, I, my wife is prettier than her. That's how, that's how, that's how a person thinks if his wife uh, make him feel like uh, uh, he's, a, he's a king. He feels that he doesn't give her, uh, she doesn't give him a hard time or give, teaching him lesson. She's going to be, she's gonna, he's going to be, when it goes out, to the real world, right, or, or learning Torah or whatever, he would never look as well for getting some kind of uh, uh, fulfillment because he had everything from his his own wife. That's, so that's what that's what he's saying. He says, he says, permission uh, permission so there's sometimes there's a discussion. There, in every family, there's such a thing. There's like a man and a husband. They have, they have discussion certain things they don't agree upon, right? He says, and the woman says, you know what, I'm going to give, give my wife, my husband a lesson and start uh, fighting with him and disrespecting him and I'm going to educate him uh, that he should act differently. And the, woman, the man goes out, then this man had a problem. He's going to create, create a problem for the husband. Because what? Because the husband goes out, you know, my wife is like this, so maybe I made a mistake marrying this woman. So you start looking at other women. And, and from there, looking at this woman, looking at this woman, looking at this woman, Akhat Shalom might get to the situation that uh, might be, not be able to be controlled anymore. Uh, and Akhat uh, who, right? Because he didn't get what he's supposed to get from a fire at home. So that's very important for a woman. Uh, this is what talking for women, because uh, a person shouldn't go to his wife and say, you should do this, but it's good. Usually when a person uh, uh, knows something a woman should do, she shouldn't go and say, you know what, this is your responsibility. It's not, it's not good because she's going to take side. But it's good to say, uh, we read the, book, the thing, we say, let's do this together. Or, or make a comment. Or, or something like that. Like, look at this guy. He, his wife is... His wife is uh, uh, the, the, the husband, the husband and wife. To be compared to other women. Right, right. Uh, so There's no complaint, but they're saying, look at this guy, he has a Baruch Hashem, uh, they, have, they have a good marriage, just see what we can learn from them so we can also have better. Something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you don't say you're bad. You never say your wife, you're a bad woman. Or you, are, you always say you're a great woman. <laughs> always, she's like, both, that's what the person should think, that his wife is the best thing that ever happened to him. Okay, and that's how he has to go with it. And, and there's certain things that he sees in her, he should never put her down and say, you know what, this woman that I know, she's much better than you. Or, or, or I see so many things. But you could say, let's see what happens. What do, this type of marriage, this person has such a good marriage, mm -hmm. let's learn something from her. <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry. So let's, let's learn something from there. And this, this way, right, by doing so, uh, we are talking about how to, the responsibility of the wife 
and we said that the Asur from a woman to make a, his wife, uh, her husband uh, feel uh, depressed or, or bitter when she got, goes out of the home. We we're talking about the, what's the, how, does, how does a woman, this, this is a very good book, so, so he said, how does a woman could elevate her? They said the, the woman, uh, the, the man, the, the task of man is to go to the highest level spiritually, and the only person who could do it is his wife. And, and he says the wife, responsibility is, I'm just making a very short summary, summary is this, so the uh, woman's uh, responsibility is that to make him uh, very happy. And uh, when he goes out, he should think that his wife is the most beautiful, the best thing ever could happen to him is this his wife. And that way, he, when he goes out, he shouldn't feel that, that he shouldn't feel looking for other women to, to replace his own wife. And then, and then I was just saying, if a person knows that his wife is not doing, like here he says, a person, a woman should not go and says, I want to educate my husband, she should know better, he should know better, I give him a lesson right now. And this they say it's not good, because if he does it, the husband go out not happy, it's going to be problematic for the, for, the, for the husband, because he sees he didn't have, he's not fulfilled with his wife, and he will start looking elsewhere. And we just were saying, that if one, a person knows this, and he might think his wife is saying something not proper, you should never say, oh, look at this woman, she's much better than you, or she does this and you, you can't do it. You should say, uh, look at this marriage, it's such a good marriage, let's learn what they are doing right, that we could do it also, so we get to the point to them. <laughs> but not that, criticizing the wife, that she's not, let's see if we can learn something from them. Right. Uh, and this, this, this way, she won't get offended. She won't, the woman gets offended, and she's going to say, okay, yeah, I want to also have a very good marriage. Let's see what you, what you, and then just, they just read it. But then you never have to, um, to have to show them, uh, put down the way, okay? And he says the woman has to be with the Sabla note, and uh, I think that's basically so that's, that's, that's the whole, uh, that's the whole concept over here was the time to discuss that a, a woman's role is to m make sure, because Gemara says a man without a wife is, uh, doesn't have no, no bracha, no simcha, no Torah, and he says a woman, when he gets married, this woman is going to bring all that. And we just were just summarizing what the woman should do, should look at these points and try to make sure he, she does those things. She does, she make, make sure that she makes her husband very, very comfortable about all these things, make her happy. And by doing so, she, they're going to have a very good marriage with them. Shemit Barach, may all the Jewish people in the community, singers or married, married, married couples, they always have shown by and they would sing good people who would find a proper zivuk that they would be able to follow this uh, that Harav Rudas has given Amen Amen